What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, man. So I haven't posted anything in the last few days. I've been uh, working a lot. So I just got off work. That's why I got my work clothes on. But I'm here at the shop, guys. I'm going to show you guys what's up with the red lining and other stuff that I got here in the shop. So let's get down to it. All right, guys. So we got the Cadillac CTSE. Still waiting on parts, guys. Everything has been paid off since we took the engine out. My brother paid everything. Heads, crank, pistons, everything and nothing yet, man. Everything's being delayed due to the pandemic, guys. That's why we still haven't have anything on the car. So the engine's already checked. It went to the machine shop. They checked everything. It's bored out now to what it's going to be. It's going to be a 416 stroker, Dragon Slayer crank, all the good stuff, man. So this is where the car is at. So we'll see. Once we get everything back in here, guys, we're going to start working on this one. And here's my R1. We'll get back to this one in a bit, guys. And here's the red lining. So this truck's already done, guys. Uh, if you guys seen the last videos, we did compression test, uh, new spark plugs, clean the supercharger, EGR, turkey pan uh, boost bypass, all that kinds of good stuff you do to the lightning, guys. We also painted the blower, uh, the top plenium, and the turkey pan. Everything got uh, painted, cleaned out, really good. Before you usually turn on this truck, guys, and it would idle pretty bad, throwing a lot of smoke. Man, it was full of oil. You guys seen it on the last video. Uh, EGR delete also on this one. So you get a cleaner look on the truck. And in my opinion, guys, it's not going to give you horsepower, but it looks way better, and you got more room to work on the spark plugs. But on this truck, actually, the compression came out a little bit low on the passenger side pistons guys so we contacted the owner i mean the truck idles pretty good we're gonna turn on it here in a bit but idles pretty good now it used to be pretty rough so we contacted the owner and we told him hey uh you guys give us permission to go out for for a little cruise and test it out you know and we did she's very low on power uh, due to that has a little knock on, on on one of the cylinders but it already had that whenever we came in came to the shop so transmission has some issues also guys uh it, it, once the, the the transmission gets some temperature the reverse doesn't want to go in so that's something with a converter or the transmission or the valve body something around that area that's not working good but we told him the issues the compression that came out on the cylinders and he said you know what just put it back together guys i want to save up some cash and then i'm going to bring it back and you guys can build it so he's going to go with forged pistons all the whole you know all the good stuff man but that's where this truck's at. I'm gonna put a battery on it. We're gonna start it, guys, and let you guys hear it. All right, so we got Mando. Turn it on, Mando. We don't know if this truck was tuned before because he bought it like that so he bought it like two months ago and then he contacted us and you know so we don't know the backstory about the truck that's the thing that's when you encounter issues if it was tuned before by the other previous owner and this and that so we got it working pretty good now it idles pretty damn nice no smoke whatsoever hold your intake we'll rev it up a little bit No smoke, so idle's pretty good, but we'll see. When once she comes back, she's gonna be full built. All right, guys. So here is my 2012 Yamaha R1. Um, man, I have a long time. I haven't used this bike. It's been parked for so long, guys. So look on the plate. That's the last time I used this bike. So that's back in 2015. Uh, I bought this back brand new in 2012 off the showroom floor and ever since i've used it for a couple of like a while and then i parked it again and uh, we used to hang out a lot of guys a lot of friends who will be out doing uh racing wheelies all kinds of stuff but i mean it's, she's just part guys and i just wanted to bring her out because i had her on that side of the shop i was just taking that little spot over there so i decided to move it to the center of the shop 
and I did came out to find out that my oil seals are leaking again so I mean I'm gonna have to get these repaired so I had to put these things here so the oil wouldn't trip all the way down but my fork seals are pretty bad see look at the oil I think it's because I don't move it that much guys I mean they dry out I'm gonna try to use a little uh, scalp they use to make them close again if not I'm just gonna send it in guys and we're gonna fix them so why did I bring the bike out so I'm gonna start to do some blogs on this bike guys I mean it's just it's gonna go to waste if I don't use it I do turn it on every once in every month or so change the gas to keep everything running good you know because if you don't use them and you leave the same gas you're gonna mess up your tank it's gonna get rusted injectors fuel pump and it's just gonna be something you know a big nightmare it's gonna cost a lot of money to bring it back as it sits guys I think it has 6,600 miles uh, completely bone stock I'm gonna order new tires for it I'm gonna order new brakes like I said we're gonna fix the fork seals but look at the back tires man so they've been like that so we're gonna try to get it going, see if it starts. We'll see, guys. So let's try to start it, guys. 30 so it's just been collecting dust on it but once we shine it man she looks really nice something i love about these bikes man whenever they came with a cross plane crankshaft it's the sound it sounds like a v8 man uh, back then i used to take off my exhaust whenever i was trying to do some crazy stuff <laughs> unhook it from here and just leave the white pipe man it sounded amazing but it doesn't give you performance it's just gonna mess up your engine but i just did it just to hear it how it sounded but now that i'm gonna bring it back guys start doing some blogs with this racing all kinds of stuff i might get some uh some aftermarket exhaust for this bike i'm looking into the uh i don't know they're called the mgp exhaust mgp exhaust they're little shorties they sound really nice carbon fiber might do that guys might even tune it we'll see if, if you guys want to see some uh, yamaha one action we'll get some action on it guys let's rev it up a little bit see if it'll warm up and 147 So there it is guys my 2012 r1 if you guys want to see some action on this bike give me 50 likes guys and we'll start doing some crazy stuff with this bike man but uh i am going to bring it out again i'm going to take it out uh ride it again got to get used to it again guys because haven't been on the bikes in a long time i yeah i do use my other bikes but not this one i mean it's a 1000 cc runs pretty damn good i gotta get used to it again get used to the power um, I bet you if I get on it right now, I'll do some some crazy wheelies because, like we say in Mexico, lo que bien se aprende no se olvida. What you learn, you never forget. So, I mean, I want to run back again. I used to run quarter miles in this thing, and it was freaking amazing whenever I, I, I bought it back in 2012. But, I mean, just look at it, man. It's a, it's a Yamaha R1. I taken out some CBRs 1000s with this bike and some Repsol editions with Joshi Murray exhaust. Power Commanders, all that kinds of stuff. I took them out with this one stock. So <laughs> it's not about the bike, it's about the rider, man. But if you guys want to see content, give me some likes, guys. Show us some love. Subscribe to the channel. We got Lightnings. We got the Cadillac. We got the motorcycle. We got the Lightning in the back. We got other Lightnings coming in, guys. We got a Midnight. I think it's like a Midnight Blue Lightning that's going to come in next week. And we're also going to have more content on that, guys. So for now... I want to leave you with this, guys, and see you on the next one.